p.m. and I've been home for a couple of hours. I only had one class this morning so I decided to go to a coffee shop like you guys saw and get some things done. Coffee was okay. I've definitely had better coffee but the place, the vibe was great. It wasn't busy at all so I was able to get a lot of things done. I finished catching up on my kinesiology lectures. Now I've just been working on my calculus notes because I'm a little bit behind in that class and I have a lab due later today so I do have to catch up to get that done but we're making some progress i did finish my midterms i would say i feel okay in general but i know i definitely could have done better i was in fact very stressed and overwhelmed but we pushed through and from now on we're gonna try to stay on top of things like how i should have been since the beginning of the term but that's the plan it's been crazy snowy outside, so I'm really trying my best to be protective because when the weather's like this, I should be, I feel like I should be in bed. But we're not gonna do that. I have all day to get work done, so I need to discipline myself to do exactly that. I did have a vlog that was supposed to go up last week. It was a lot of studying and me trying different coffee shops. I don't know, it felt like a half-assed video for me. Anyway, I wanted to show you some of the books that I am wanting to read for the next couple of weeks. Right now, I am in the middle of The Naturals. I'm a little bit less than halfway through. It is very, very similar to Criminal Minds, and I love Criminal Minds, so I'm genuinely enjoying this book. The next two books that I'm going to show you shows my character development because a couple months ago, I would have never reached out for a, a fantasy and be a hardcover. But I have Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco and Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. She is the author of the Kingdom of the Wicked series, which we all know I'm obsessed with. Um, this is kind of a spin-off to that series. It's about Envy, who is Wrath's brother. This is a hefty book. I'm only realizing that now. I have no idea what this is about, but I'm really excited to read this. And then we have Divine Rivals. Again, I have no idea what this is about. I never ever read the synopsis of books. If it's highly rated, I will get it. But um, a lot of the people that I follow seem to enjoy this book, so I'm looking forward to reading this as well. I ordered A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber, which is the third book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. It is the third and the last book, actually, and it was released on the 24th. But I'm still waiting on it to get shipped. So I don't have it yet, but I do, I did order it. I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself though when it comes to reading because I do want to prioritize my academics this time around. And if I have the time to read, then I will read, but I'm not making it like a priority. It's honestly, it's only taken me like half the term to realize this, but. I do love reading and I when I get into a book and I just really really love it it's hard for me to stop reading it but I just need to discipline myself and know when to stop <laughs> know to make time for it but not really put all of my time on it well, that's all of the updates that I have for now I am I think I'm gonna get groceries in a bit and I will take you guys along with me but I'm gonna go back to studying This looks good. Should I get this? 
turtle chips. Chocolate. I got, actually got two sticks of squid balls, but I already ate one in the car. And I got two sticks of isao, which are pork intestine, I believe. Yeah. I'm gonna heat these up and eat it with rice, because Filipinos eat everything with rice. These are very suspicious. They're kind of burnt. Oh, and I also got these. Choco Mont. It looks good. Oh, it's just a. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Hmm. This is my girl dinner. I'm gonna go get rice, and then I'm gonna watch Gilmore Girls. I'm on season four. So yun guys, nakasikwat na kami abad. Dito na naman kami sa panibagong bahay. Ang dami mga bata o mga Ito dalawang to malaki Tricky trick monkey Si boss Nico Gusto na naman ng Oh my god Hi. So I'm technically not trick or treating because I don't have a costume, but <laughs> I got Dre's bag. We're gonna look through it and see. They're still trick or treating, so um, I think I'm gonna grab. Ooh, there's a granola bar. <laughs> Bruh. We got a Kirkland soft and chewy granola bar. Because I said I was gonna eat clean. This is not really clean, but whatever. We're in like the rich neighborhood and they could do better. <laughs> Um, it's freezing outside. It's like negative 12. My toes are frozen, so I'm just chilling in the car. Mm. There are also families that are walking around with like full-on wagons, and they actually filled it up. They would literally not starve because even if they didn't have the money for food, actually, it's not very nutritious. But they can live off of chocolates for like Good morning friends, it is 7.36 a.m. and I am in school quite early today. I went on a little chapters trip yesterday because I was feeling a little bit anxious and I thought a little chapters trip won't do any harm. I was telling myself that 
I was just gonna go there and browse and not get anything because I have like four books waiting for me to be read at home but I walked in and I see this I mentioned this in a previous clip but I this was released on the 24th I ordered it on the 23rd which is on a Monday and it's now Wednesday so it's been a waiting shipment for over a week now so I wasn't really expecting it to be in store but when I walked in again this is the first thing that I saw it was right at the front so um I grabbed it I grabbed it I'm just gonna cancel the order online but I have it with me now curse for true love and I just want to talk about how pretty this book is like already the cover is like insanely beautiful and then we have like the book itself like this maroon this maroon color is just so pretty i have the first book in um paperback and the second book in hardcover so i think i'm gonna have to buy the first book in hardcover just so i have all three of them in hardcovers since we are in the topic of books I did finish The Naturals last night. I literally binged the last half of it before I went to sleep. I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. I was a little bit underwhelmed. Maybe because, okay, maybe because I went into it with high expectations, which is on me. But I don't know. It was a pretty good storyline, but it didn't give me the feeling like I need to get into the second book right away. I could do with or without the love triangle, but again it was it made the story pretty interesting i'm just in the little student lounge area and i have it all to myself but i know it's gonna get busy in a little bit i could really use some coffee right now i need to stop this caffeine addiction it's getting really bad but i can only stop it if i stop getting coffee and i need it i can't stop getting coffee i need to be caffeinated to function maybe it's just my mindset <laughs> No, this shit is ugly. Oh my. It is now 8.36 p.m. and we got home from the mall about 30 minutes ago. I didn't end up buying anything, which is good because I'm trying to be more responsible with my money. But I did, <laughs> I did get my eyebrows threaded for the first time. I have a bowl of grapes with me here because I'm studying for my statistics quiz tomorrow and it's Saturday tomorrow. I don't know why we have assessments on Saturday. Like they really should not, they should stop doing that. I work from 9 to 5.30 p.m. and the quiz is open from 2 to 3. So I'm just gonna have to take my lunch break at 2. We're getting tested on two chapters tomorrow and I haven't really been paying attention to these chapters so I really have to take my time tonight and master everything. I am pretty comfortable though because I did well on my midterm for this course and a lot of it is pretty fresh to me still so most of it will just be recall but I still do have to learn some concepts tonight. I can do it so I'm not worried. <laughs> It's all it's all about mindset, you guys. Okay, I'm just snacking at this point. I have to start studying.